And your point just a second ago of, you know, life knocking you down a little bit, it's not like the first time I'd ever had a wake up call of, hey, man, you probably need to slow it down a little bit. You know, um, you know, I, I've had I had several times, yep. you know, in high school, I was suspended from baseball for a year for drinking at a dance. Right. It's like seems harm. Like, OK, you're in high school, you made a stupid choice, whatever. But for a kid who wants to be a professional baseball player, losing your junior year of baseball because of a stupid decision at a dance should have been a wake-up call. Like, hey, dude, if this is what you really want, then you need to start making decisions off the field that line up with what you're saying you really want. And then there was more. I mean, there was a little thing. Hell of a warning yeah, sign. Yeah, a little warning sign. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say to Gary's point. Like, you you know, folks, and this is what I say to my, my, my youth kids now, it's like, pay attention to those little warning signs. And then it doesn't have to be what it was for me. Like eventually the pain's going to have to be enough where you're going to listen. And for me, that was that. Like I always reference the story of uh, Jonah in the Bible. I'm like, apparently, you know, he was a knucklehead. He needed three days in the belly of a fish or a whale. I'm like, God was like, dude, you're, you're, you need three and a half years. (laughs) You 